Weird but interesting things in Japan. This is a bathroom that is transparent to the public. This is a public restroom in a park, and as you can see, the insides are completely transparent when nobody's in. So, how do you make it private? The bathroom has see through walls when nobody's in, but once you go in and you lock the door, there you go. The bathroom becomes unseeable. The reason for the see through walls is so that people can see how clean the toilet is before entering. How cool is that? Weird things I found in Japanese dollar stores, part one. This is a bag sealer only for potato chips. You pinch the bag with this and the opening closes with heat. Let's try. You just pinch the opening and gotta slowly move it across the opening of the bag. And it actually works. Look, the bag is sealed, no chips falling out. Yeah. JP $1 quality. Woo! Coming up on part two. This thing helps you crush potato chips so you can flake it on your rice and give it flavor. Gotta try that, you know? Get your chips inside, place it over your rice, get the top, crush, spin, and start flaking. I mean, it doesn't look like it's doing much on the camera, but it's sure flaking. Don't worry, my chips are being crushed safely. But to be honest, it doesn't look that appetizing. Well, come on, it's a dollar. Day in life in Japan, under a minute. When I woke up today, it was sunny, so I decided to go shopping. I decided to skip breakfast and brush my teeth, get ready, and let's go. The moment I go out, it started to rain. But it's okay, the flowers seem happy. Today I wanted to buy these things where you put under chairs to prevent them scratching the floor when you move it around. So I came to Nitori, like a Home Depot store in Japan. And as much as I enjoyed the store, I couldn't find the thing I wanted. So I came to the place of all solutions, Daiso. This dollar store has everything from food, to stationery, to cosmetics. They even had this weird cutter just for eggs. Who cuts eggs? Anyways, I got what I wanted and noticed now I'm hungry. So I came to eat some tempura. This place is called Tenya. It's a chain store. They make the best tempura rice ever. And lunch made me realize I needed some groceries, so I am headed into the supermarket, get my shopping thing, and roam around. I got pork, I got chicken, I got natto, I got aloe vera, oatmeal, and some mochi. And that was a day in the life in Japan under a minute. What is a food that is completely normal to eat in your country, but will be seen as weird in other countries? Let me start with Japan. Now this is called natto. This is basically fermented soybeans, and a lot of Japanese people love it, but has quite an impact for people who've never seen it. So the package looks like this. When you open it, it's weird because it has this really sticky texture because it's fermented and looks like this. Now, natto has a pretty strong smell and a very unique taste, but it will taste good once you get used to it. In Japan, it's popular to eat this with rice because it has a really strong flavor. Now, normally you don't eat it just like that. You have to mix this with a uh, soy sauce or some kind of a special sauce. And I will show you how. Usually each natto package comes with a sauce like this. Now, what you do is you have to pour the sauce in like this, and then you have to mix it a lot with your chopsticks like this. Now you can see how sticky this is, right? Now, this might be really weird if it's the first time you see this food, but trust me, if you visit Japan, you gotta try this. It actually does taste good. To answer your question, yes, we have seasoning in rice balls. And we take it way serious. Let me show you. So here we are at 7-Eleven Japan. Now once you enter the store, let's head to the rice ball section. Yeah, we have like a whole shelf dedicated to rice balls. Oh, we got like so many types of rice balls. We got salmon, shrimp mayo, tuna mayo, seaweed again. This one has chicken nuggets in it. This one's made out of fried rice. Now I'm gonna take my favorite one, the salmon one. Now, I want to show you how to open the rice ball. The way we developed the way to package these things is so cool. So bear with me while I purchase this and get home. All right, now that I'm home, I want to show you how to open this because that's the cool part. So it's three steps. One, you pull this part down and open. Number two, you pull the sides like this and you take one out and do the same for the other. Like this. Oh my God, perfect rice ball. Bye.